A Luxembourg family sharing their story after more than a decade of medical ups and downs. It all started when Daylin fell off a roof and was paralyzed. His wife vowed to never give up and even found a new procedure to make life better for her husband, a surgery never done before in Wisconsin. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval has their story in tonight's special assignment. Dalen and Sandy want their story to share as an inspiration for others who have loved ones that are paralyzed to never give up on options for a better life and never give up on each other. It's the sounds of a ventilator that the Jokies have heard for 12 years since Dalen's roofing accident. You don't expect something like this to happen. You expect in construction to get hurt, but you expect to recover. The fall left him a quadriplegic and solely reliable on the vent to do his breathing for him. They kept telling me he would go to an institution, probably Milwaukee, and I just sat there and thought, I'm taking him home. And she did. She, along with nurses, learned how to care for Dalen, but he would always be on a ventilator. Uh, with a hole in his neck, a tracheostomy and alarms and sounds and beep, beep. They settled in with the artificial breathing system, but the entire family never lost their optimism, including Dalen. Feeling sorry for yourself. That's only going to make you feel worse. The beeping in life went on for more than a decade. Dalen had problems hearing because the machine is so loud. He had mucus, phlegm, no taste or smell, and traveling was difficult with the threat of the ventilator failing. So Sandy took a big step that would change their lives. I went online and started researching anything new that was coming down the pike. That's where she found a procedure that's essentially a pacemaker for the diaphragm, making it possible to live without the ventilator. Which is not really similar to the pacemaker to, to the heart. It's something that will de de deliver intermittent electrical stimuli that will make the muscle twitch. Dr. Raul Mendoza with Aurora Healthcare Research Cost Preparation Equipment. It was nearly a year long process. Most importantly, Dalen's nerve connecting the diaphragm to the brain had to be intact. And after all of this, he was a candidate, the first in Wisconsin. So you talk to the nerve, the nerve talks to the diaphragm. Dr. Alexander Roystein with Baycare Clinic would do the surgery. They would put a U-clip coil that cradles the nerve with the brain of the operation outside of the body. But there was a major factor Dr. Roystein took into account before choosing to take part. His family has managed him and uh, addressed his needs at a level that I have not seen. Dalen's optimism and the support system from his family, it was the best that doctors have seen, and surgery was a success. This is video after Dalen's surgery, showing his first few breaths with the new device. How do you feel? Just fine. They started out slow, 15 minutes with the new device off the ventilator twice a day. After several years of not using it, there was a training process to the diaphragm. He's now using the new device to breathe for 12 hours a day. You don't realize how much noise the ventilator makes until it's, until it's gone. Sandy says since the surgery, the quality of life has improved tremendously. Dalen's more engaged because he can hear better. There are also some other benefits. Now I can smell things and that, that's really nice. But it's not just physical healing, it's mental. You can decide to be angry and bitter or you can decide to live the what you're dealt. Well, I'm just so proud of Sandy for everything she's done for me. A love story built from tragedy. And you just pick up the pieces and say, how are we going to live? What do we have left? With an end to the ventilator beeps in sight. The next goal for Dalen is to be off the ventilator at night while sleeping and use the device 24 hours a day. Cassandra Duval, NBC 26. The doctors through BayCare say they've had more inquiries about the surgery, but it's not for everyone. They would, however, be open to using the device in the future if the right candidate comes along.